You might be wondering why I'm stretching. Today is my CDCA exam, and with all the practicing I've been doing, with really bad posture and ergonomics, my neck and back aren't feeling so great, but stretching consistently has been something that has helped with that, so just trying to uh, get a good stretch in this morning, so I'm feeling pretty good for the exam today, because at this point, ergonomics don't count for anything other than style points. Got to get into all sorts of terrible positions to see different angles and make sure that you're meeting the specific criteria for the exam, so got to do what's got to be done to pass this test. Not the best night's sleep. Tossed and turned for a while. And uh, woke up about four, and I don't think I ever fell back asleep. So it's almost 5.30 now. Nerves, I guess, got to me. Other than last night, I've been feeling really prepared, really good for this. So I was a little surprised to uh, not sleep very well last night to be feeling the nerve. It's not as bad as it usually is though, which is nice, but still a little bit there. So for those of you who aren't dental students or recent grads or anything or in the dental field, CDCA is the organization that does kind of the national part of the licensure exams. So this is the clinical aspect of our licensure. It's one of the last big hoops, big exams to complete before graduation and being licensed and going on the real world and practicing. Like I was saying, CDCA is the exam that you take to show you have the clinical skills to be at least the bare minimum of what's required for a dentist. And it is an exam. There are four sections covered over two separate days. So today is the first day and the second day will be in February actually. Today we're covering endo and pros. So what that entails is doing, so doing a root canal on a tooth and then accessing a different tooth for a root canal. That's the endo portion. Then pros is crown preps. And that will be the exam. Uh, you've got three hours for endo, four hours for pros. Hoping I don't take that long. Based on how I've been practicing, it won't take that long, but gotta take my time, be careful, and just make sure that I'm meeting the criteria that is established and required for this exam. Not a ton of people here. They've split our class across two days, so about half are taking it today. Half will take it tomorrow. Yeah, I wish I would have slept better last night, but hopefully adrenaline can take me through. If not, I might grab a watermelon Red Bull. Yeah, as long as I don't do anything super dumb like I did when I was practicing and drill on the wrong tooth. Yes, that actually happened. Might happen to you, but do it when you're practicing, not on the exam. Yeah, if I can avoid doing that, I feel pretty good. Um, I won't be able to record. I'll probably take a little break and during that time, give you guys an update on how I think Endo went. This is gonna be kind of a scatterbrained vlog, probably pretty short, but I at least wanted to bring you guys along for a little bit of it. So, we'll see ya. And we're back. Finished endo, took a little bit of a break, hung out for a few minutes, 
didn't take me quite as long as I gave myself time for, which was nice. I definitely was stressed. I double checked that I was going to be working on the right teeth. I marked the teeth just to make sure that I wasn't gonna screw that up because if you drill the wrong teeth, automatic fail. Wanted to avoid that and thankfully did. Feel really good about how it went. Uh, I think that's better than most of the practicing that I did. I guess there's always a chance that something went wrong, but feeling pretty good about endo. About to head back in and go do the pros. So it's three crown preps, two of which are a bridge as well. That's definitely going to be the harder part, especially the bridge. That's what I'm most nervous about. But it should be manageable, doable. I'll have plenty of time. And uh, as long as I don't do anything too bad, it should be okay. And for those of you who are curious, Endo took me an hour and about 15 minutes. I would have been done a little sooner, but there was one spot that I just wanted to touch up a little bit and I had already taken the rubber dam off. So I had to go back, get a new rubber dam, put that on. So that added a little bit of time. They give you three hours for endo and it took me about an hour and 15 minutes. So whenever you are getting ready, don't worry about going super fast. Just take your time, breathe, relax, get up, walk around, stretch, take breaks. They give you plenty of time, so don't be afraid to use it. But on the other hand, don't try and take the full time because the more you mess with it and the longer you take, the more likely it is that you'll kind of work with it too much and mess something up. So there's definitely a balance, but just so you guys have an idea of what to expect when it's your turn. With that, I will see you in a few hours. Well, on the bright side, it's over, but just as I anticipated, Pross was the harder of the two sections, uh, especially the bridge. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with how things went. I'm just not sure if have the draw that I need, which means basically the two crowns kind of match up in a very simplified way to explain that. So now we wait a couple weeks until it gets graded and then I'll hear back. But if I'm being totally honest, I wouldn't be super surprised if I need to redo the bridge, which I think would be sometime beginning of next year, so February or March, something like that. Which, if that's the case, that would definitely be a bummer, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, yeah, I would have liked to feel more confident than I do right now. Overall, it really wasn't any more stressful than just kind of normal practicing for the CDCA. I mean, the examiners are there, but they're just walking around in case anything horrible happens, which thankfully for me, it didn't. Got all the right teeth, so that's good. Fortunately, now we just gotta be patient and wait.